Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Rooster in the background. I don't know if the mic is going to pick it up. I guess we'll see. <laughs> sir. Cheerio, good sir. Jesus Christ. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. blah. back guys I'm Kate I'm Corey today we are gonna talk about insulating our trailer now we knew we wanted to insulate the trailer we've watched lots of videos and read a lot of stuff about people that have not insulated and we've done the tent life thing right so we knew we, we wanted to insulate go back it. to that <laughs> right we want we want to be able to use it year-round insulation I think is a huge part of that so we knew we wanted to do that the question was just like how so there are a lot of options when it comes to insulating trailers, vans, tiny homes, and there is like no shortage of information on the internet about this. I think it's almost I, too much information. It's way too much. I think I did more research about insulation than anything else. I mean, I must have asked you a thousand questions. We about sat what on it do. for maybe like two weeks, a long just time. trying to figure out which one we wanted to do. That's right. There's a ton of options. You can do spray foam. You can do XPS, you know, just like the pink or green board you can get from Home Depot uh, it's or got the Lowe's. Pink Panther on it. Right, the Pink Panther stuff, <laughs> right? You can do like wool. A lot of the van life folks do wool in the walls. Um, you really don't want to do traditional insulation in your walls because it, it the movement of the of the trailer of the camper like jostling around will like it'll put it in the air, right? You don't want to really be breathing it. So those are really meant for more home use. So there's a ton of options for insulation. Now the absolute best write up that there is on the internet about insulation is on faroutride.com. There's a couple of van life folks and they have a really, really great educational article on uh, insulation about how R value works, about uh, thermal bridging and all this sort of physics stuff. It's really, really good. I think I learned more from that article than anything else. I will be sure to link that in the description below. The question is how do we actually do it? There's lots of options and we chose to go with spray foam. We also chose to have it professionally installed. We have lots of cool video footage of that. You're welcome. I know. Yes, I'm glad I didn't try to do <laughs> that this That was one my decision. That's right. That's right. All right, so there are definitely some pros and cons to spray foam insulation, which is what we chose to go with, right? It's a little bit controversial to use spray foam insulation because there's a lot of fear of how it can change the structure, the outside of, of the trailer, the van, the tiny home, right? It decreases heat when you put it on, so there's a lot of fear that it can bend in the walls, and we actually found that not to be the case in our, our particular instance because we did it in a really controlled environment. But there are some advantages and disadvantages to spray foam. So let's talk about advantages first, all right? So it's one of the most effective types of insulation, right? You get about the best R value per inch that you can get out of insulation, which is the, really the biggest reason we wanted to go with it. Number two, it's super, super light. You guys have heard us talk about before, we really want the trailer to be light because we're pulling it with the Forerunner. And then at number three, and honestly, probably the most important thing about doing it in a cargo trailer is it's water sealing. Right? It gets in every single crevice, every single crack. I mean, it fills literally everything uh, and, and totally water seals the inside of a trailer, which is important in a cargo trailer because, you know, they're not really watertight, truly, the way they're built, right? So it was super important. So some of the disadvantages that we were struggling with was, one, it's really pricey to do. Two, it's really time consuming. And three, it can be really, really messy. That was one of the biggest reasons that we were Hesitant. We had it, yeah. Very we had hesitant. it. We had it professionally done, and that was the mess. Was really was the reason the we decided to have it professionally best done. Best decision. Yeah, I think. I think so too, <laughs> and we will talk more about that. Now there are these DIY kits you can get to do spray foam insulation, and the funny thing about that stuff is dollar for dollar, it ends up costing virtually the same if you're going to do it yourself versus having it professionally installed. If you could find a local installer to do it, I would say even maybe more. Right. Because we got more out of having it professionally done in terms of thickness. That's right. That's right. You have to calculate exactly how much you need. And if you miscalculate just a little bit, you have to go buy a whole other $600 DIY kit just to do it. And there's a lot of things to consider. If you get your ratios mixed up of the chemicals that go in it, lots of details and how to actually do that stuff. It's pretty technical, right? And if you, if you screw it up, like you're just kind of out of luck. You have to buy another kit, right? Now, we did choose to have our insulation professionally installed. We went with a local company, Mullen company here in Kingsport, Tennessee. They're a local insulation installer and they charge us a thousand bucks to bring it, the trailer to them. It was incredible. They did a super awesome job. I was so impressed with the work that they did and uh, they were really, really pleasant to work with. So um, I 
highly recommend that. If you do choose to go with spray foam insulation, shop around, see if you can find someone either in your city or like a local city. I don't think I would attempt this job myself after having seen them done that. And I mean, I'm building a trailer, right? So we can obviously handle DIY stuff. So there's a lot of things you have to do to the trailer before you have it ready to be sprayed, right? There's a lot of taping you have to do. We have to tape off the windows and the fan and make sure everything is nice and covered up because you don't want to spray on everything, right? Now we didn't film all that stuff just because it was so tedious, but there's a lot of details about that over on the website, DIYCargoTrailer.com. So be sure to check that out and we'll tell you exactly what you need to do before you get your trailer sprayed. Otherwise, hang around, watch the professionals do this thing and be impressed because it was be awesome. Amazed. It was awesome. Morning. We are off today to get the trailer insulated. Uh, had to get up at the butt crack of dawn this morning, at like six. It's a little bit early, but still, I get up at six to uh, finish checking up the trailer and get out of here. I've already forgotten my wallet this morning and had to turn around, so that's good. Off to a great start. I'm excited. I'm excited to get this thing sprayed insulated and we start using it. All right, well, we made it. Uh, they are currently getting this thing set up. You'll probably see them back here behind me, uh, getting it all cleaned up, taping it off and stuff. They've gone really above and beyond. I, I really thought I was just gonna like roll up in here with the trailer kind of like ready to be sprayed. They would like immediately spray it and that's kind of it. Like they just get spray everywhere. Um, I even tried to tape off some stuff so it wouldn't get some spray on it. Uh, but they've already spent like 20 minutes like taping everything off. It's super professional. Uh, they are gonna do the underside and uh, they even went as far as to tape off like behind the wheels. Uh, to keep, keep it off the brakes and the axles and stuff. I don't even think, I mean, it seems so obvious now, but I don't even think I would have thought to do that if I had sprayed this myself. Um, so, super impressed with this. Have it, have it sprayed professionally if you do one of these. I'm really excited to see this thing get sprayed and uh, check it out. Confidently say that uh, I cannot make it look this pretty. <laughs> I'm so impressed with this right now. They also also taped up the uh, trailer tongue really good. I didn't even notice they did that. They must have been doing that a few minutes ago and I wasn't paying attention. I know a big concern when you uh, spray these trailers, you spray vans, anything like that, is like the, the deforming, deformation of like the uh, the paneling, the metal, right? Because the stuff does get a little hot as it's uh, heating up. So there's like temperature requirements and stuff. Uh, now I'm inside of a big garage, right? Where they do this, uh, they do these sprays and stuff. So I'm assuming that that's gonna help a whole lot, but you can see they already did the front here and it's not deformed at all. So we will see, um, you know, it is a metal cargo trailer. So I'm not super, super concerned with the fact that it might be a little deformed here and there. Uh, I mean, it's thin aluminum siding anyway, it's probably gonna be already a little deformed. So I'm not super worried about that. Um, I'd rather have a trailer that's well insulated that I can enjoy than uh, really to worry too much about um, like the way that the outside looks and being just perfect. Um, you know, this is not like a, it's not a van or anything. So it's not that big of a deal. So I'm excited to see how uh, how this shapes up if it, if it does in fact deform it at all. But if it does, that might be okay. I'm so impressed with the technique. Like, it's clear this guy's done this a whole bunch of times. Um, he's got long, long sweeps, I guess, to get the big areas. But then he like, he, like clicks it, like little short clicks. It's really cool.
really mesmerizing. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, watching people like cut the grass or like paint a wall. It's like oddly satisfying to watch it happen. This is really cool. I'm glad I did this. I've already learned a lot. Uh, I really like his technique. It's really interesting to see how he like, he like will do a little bit and then like measure sort of, like let it rise. Really cool. It's so satisfying to watch. All right, we got one side pretty much done. Um, it looks like one of his, uh, one of the other guys is going along the edging with like, uh, looks like a ruler, <laughs> something sharp, I guess, to clean up the lines a little bit at uh, the ground. So. Alright, so this one thing that I really can't get out of my head um, is uh, I definitely overestimated, I guess underestimated how good of a job they would do. Uh, and I have a little bit of a concern that I'm not going to be able to see the beams um, where the uh, furring strips are going to go up, right? So um, luckily I took really careful measurements, so hopefully I can use those in combination with, uh, you can kind of see the outlines still um, of, the, of the, like, the vertical uh, steel studs in the trailer um, but I am a little concerned it's gonna be kind of hard to find those to screw into them so um, you know I guess we'll I'll see what that looks like when we get to it um, but I do foresee that maybe being a little bit of a problem so um, I mean honestly this thing looks amazing I can't believe this thing is uh, is getting insulated the way it is so small price to pay I guess just to make that next step a little more challenging but it's gonna be incredibly well insulated no uh, what they call those thermal bridges no thermal bridges because all the beams are being covered up and we'll go furring strips right on top of those so um, really excited about this it looks awesome I can't wait to see the final product so this is kind of neat um, it's warm to the touch uh, the trailer is like kind of hot on the outside but good lord uh, it's so stiff like I can't believe how firmed up the walls feel like I mean it really feels feels totally different you touch the side of the trailer and it's like it's kind of hot it's not like super hot like it's easy to touch like but it's definitely like warm like it's been sitting in the sun for a little while and you know i think that's the concern with um with uh the sides like warping and stuff is because of the heat but you know i'm inside of a big building um it is it is kind of raining outside so it's a pretty humid day um but like like i said earlier uh i'm not super concerned about the about the warping and looking at it too I don't really think it looks, it doesn't look any more warped than it already did, right? These these cargo trailers are already like not really perfect, so I wasn't really concerned with that, but I can't really tell any difference. It looks the same to me so far. So I guess we will, we will see how it continues to shape up. If you're curious, this is the uh, this is the stuff they use. It's these big, huge drums. Uh, there's like a there's, this is the B side, and then over here, these other big, huge drums. The A side. It's isocyanate. At least I think this is the stuff. This is what's in their truck. I need to ask them. But yeah, so it's isocyanate, um, and then there's like a resin stuff, and it comes in these huge drums, which is pretty cool. Definitely different than the commercial stuff. I was talking to him a little bit about the commercial stuff you can buy, like at Home Depot or Lowe's, the spray cell insulation, and uh, the, it's hard to maintain the ratios with non-commercial equipment, which um, I watched a bunch of videos of people on YouTube that did it themselves, and uh, there was one guy even that, like, he did half the trailer before he realized that it was only one of them squirting, so, like, it, it can really make a mess and can screw up the ratio, and if that happens, then it doesn't stiffen properly, it doesn't heat properly, it can really be a big pain in the butt, so... Um, this is pretty cool. This is, uh, I guess the brand that says Huntsman. Huntsman Building Solutions. Dimelec Heat Lock XT High Yield Closed Cell Spray Foam Insulation. That one says Dimelec. I don't really know what that means. And then this one says, this one says isocyanate. See there. So, 
neat stuff. One of the parts that I'm most excited to watch is uh, it's gearing up to do the underside right now, which this is like the reason that I wanted to pay somebody to do it because this looks like it would be such a pain in the butt to do. Um, so yeah, he's gearing up to do the underside now. finished up insulation uh, got her hooked back up on my way home um, man they did a fantastic job you know I can't really tell a difference pulling it uh, I was a little concerned that it would add a whole bunch of weight you know that guy told me it adds about uh, two pounds per cubic foot driving on the road can't tell a difference at all anyway super stoked to get the insulation done I think this marks like a huge uh, a huge step forward in the project um, it's always satisfying to have something professionally done kind of in the middle of a project because it really helps move things along um, and the insulation man was really something i was dreading so really excited to get that knocked out so as soon as i get home i'll, I'll get her all parked and leveled back out and i will uh, give you guys a bit of a tour of uh, the final product so i'll see you guys in just a bit all right we are insulated all right you guys ready to see this it looks fantastic all right, here we go check it out fully insulated cargo trailer looks fantastic i'm super stoked it's uh it, it has totally like changed the structure of the trailer entirely I am very, very pleased with it. Um, I mean, you can see, see just how thick they did it on the, and this is the window, so like there's like another I don't know, inch or so. So this is like two to three inches. It turned out really fantastic. It's solid. The wall structure is like super solid now. It's quieter. The floor looks great. The ceiling looks great. It looks fantastic. I'm so pleased with it. What do you think? It's amazing. This is the best money we spent probably on the trailer. I know. It's like pretty cold outside like today, which is weird, isn't it? What's it? May. It's May. I don't know why it's so cold. Yeah, anyway, so it's kind of cold outside and as soon as we uh, as soon as we got in here, it was like good lord, 15 degrees warmer inside the trailer, so like crazy. It was a huge Come back out the trailer. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? Go camping in here. Yeah, it goes in. Less. What is that, right? <laughs> she sees the. Let me show you the underside too. Underside looks really good. Ray really wants it because uh, it's hard to like get under there, so you can't really control it as much. So he said he just put it on really thick. So. Um, I'm super stoked with this. I think it looks like a million bucks. I, there's no way I could have made this look this good or this clean. You gotta find somebody to do it for you, which is kind of hard. You have to get quotes and stuff, but I'm super pleased with this. I think like this is like a really big step forward in the projects. All right, guys, trailer fully insulated. Uh, next, we gotta start working on framing, I guess, the shower. Man, we have a lot of things to do. We do, but it's gonna go fast. It's gonna go fast, I it's think. Gonna go fast. The most immediate thing we gotta do is the furring strips on the walls, which are gonna be kind of tricky. Um, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. See you guys. So there you have it. Uh, we got our trailer spray foamed, insulated. Spray foamed. <laughs> it's done. It's been, a verb. It's been spray foamed. <laughs> it's done. Done. Our trailer is now insulated. It is. It's nice and cool. It's nice and warm. I'm excited to have this thing done. Me too. It was really messy. I'm glad we didn't do this ourselves. It's spray foamed. <laughs> spray foamed. It's a verb. I know. All right. So more details about the build over on DIYCargoTrailer.com. If you like this video, you want more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And, and we will see you next time. See you guys.